a kinder treat for thousands of families. The Premier announcing a $9 billion early childhood overhaul, making kinder free from next year. We are going to give every child, every mum and every dad uh, the best start for the best life. Under the new scheme, every three-year-old will get 15 hours of free kinder a week. A new pre-prep year will roll out from 2025, giving four-year-olds 30 hours of free education a week, up from the current 15 hours, which could save families up to $2,500 a year on fees per child. It's like an extra year of school a year early. Uh, that is 100% absolutely free. It's going to make a difference to thousands of children who did not benefit from uh, kindergarten before because the cost was simply out of reach. Bubble, bubble, bubble. It's hoped the extra hours and cheaper services will help reduce hurdles for women to get back to work and tackle cost of living pressures, with some families spending 20% of their income on childcare. 30 hours of free kinder is great for working mums. Being able to have up to five days would just make such a big difference. 50 new low-fee state-run childcare centres will also be built in areas known as childcare deserts, where there are a shortage of childcare places. More than a third of Australians live in those areas, mainly in outer growth suburbs and regional towns. If children get high quality um, early childhood education and care, it actually helps set up their learning trajectories for school and most importantly, starts to narrow the equity gap. It's about time that children were made the priority after uh, you know, being locked down for the best part of two years. This Standing on Ranges childcare centre has a wait list of more than 100 children and is already struggling to find casual staff. I know some services struggle more so than others to find staffing because there is a staff shortage um, in the now industry. Finding enough teachers to fill all these new kinder places is going to be the government's biggest challenge. It estimates around 11,000 new kinder and childcare workers will need to be recruited in Victoria alone. I'm not pretending for a minute that it won't come with challenges in terms of finding that workforce in a very tight labour market. The government says it'll offer incentives to attract and retain staff. Bridget Rollison, ABC News, Melbourne.